Hi guys, welcome to BISPSolution.com. This is Ashima. In today's session, I'll talk about creating an application in DRM. In subsequent session, we'll explore things in DRM. So creating a DRM application, we need to follow these two steps. In first step, we need to create a repository. This is where we keep database things. In second step, we need to create DRM application itself. So by creating a DRM application, users are able to perform op different operations like creating hierarchies, creating nodes, working on versions, etc. One application can have multiple data sets and multiple users. So let's see how to create DRM application. So for creating a DRM application, we need to go configuration console. So just click on co configuration console. And here you need to click on add for creating a new application. So I'm clicking on add. Under application, you can see we have default application name, which is the computer name followed by sequence number. So I'll just delete this name and I'll provide new name for the application. So sample DRM is my application name. And in next step, you need to just click on repository wizard. Database currently not exists. The repository wizard will create new database for us. If we have access to the database, then we can just click on create a new repository and then click on next. And if we don't have access to the database, then we need to click on generate SQL script and then we need to send resulting code to, to our DBA. So I have database access. That's why I have just click on create new, new repository and then I'm clicking on next. In next step, we need to provide database connection details so that our metadata gets stored into our DVMS. Here I have SQL server running on my machine. So I'm sele selecting database provider as SQL server. Then I left the service connection field as blank because my SQL server running on my local machine. Here I'm providing user ID and password. And then I'll provide connection timeout as 60 seconds. Then I'll just test the connection. So connection gets succeeded. Now I'll click on next. DRM DB is the schema owner in database. So we need to make unique database for each application. Now I'll just provide password for DRM DV. And I'll provide password here as confirm password. DB. And here we need to provide new application name. So DB. Okay. And then I'll provide data file name. So this is about data file, so I'll just provide data file and then I'll provide log file as log file. OK, so we need to provide unique name for each application. Then this is the default path, but we need to select correct path for this. So I'll just open my path and I'll just copy this and paste it, paste it into path. You need to provide correct path, otherwise it will provide an error. Then we need to provide size. So I'll provide 200 MB as data file size and then I'll provide 200 MB as log file size. So these are the database details. Just click on next. 
here we need to provide username and password for the drm application so admin will be the main user and here i'm providing password so this id password we need to provide when we want to log in into the application so i'll just provide the password and then i'll just click on next so re-verify all the things which we have done previously if everything is correct then click on next so re-verify all the things and then click on next here our repository gets started created once it is done we'll click on next so here you can see all these repository and database gets successfully created and then we'll click on we'll click on next you can save your logs otherwise click on finish i'll click on finish now we need to save our configuration so i'll just click on save configuration so that you can see our application gets created successfully but right now it's stopped so we need to click on right click on application name and then click on start application once you click on start application our application gets started and then we can log in with the login with the username and password for application so that you can see here our application gets started successfully so we'll go to drm web client and we'll try to log in so i'll just refresh it here you can see our application name came into the drop down so here i'll just try to log in if all things are correct then we are able to log in so i'm clicking on login so here you can see our application gets successfully started we have logged in successfully so thanks for watching if you have any query or question please comment below or visit our website to engage an expert at the rate www.bispsolution.com